Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at the brand new Olamp Night Tour. Let's check it out. So what exactly is the Night Tour from Olamp here? Well, it's an aluminum table lamp that combines a multicolor light stem and a detachable high CRI lamp head. The perforated stem here has 12 warm white LEDs that range from eight lumens up to 60 lumens. And it has a set of 12 RGB LEDs. And those RGB color modes can range between two lumens up to 10 lumens. Inside the stem here, the Night Tour has a built-in 4,000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery and can give us 31 hours of runtime when unplugged. And the detachable lamp head here has a built-in 3.7 volt 100 milliamp hour battery. And both of those batteries are charged via the USB type C port on the back of the Night Tour. And yes, it does come with the USB type A to USB C charging cable. So that's basically what the Night Tour is in a nutshell. I'll go over all the lighting modes and what this bad boy can do but first let's talk about the dimensions here so the night tour has a length of 15.61 inches and a base diameter of 3.35 inches and it weighs about 14.8 ounces but that's without the detachable lamp head so with those dimensions you might think that this is easy to tip over with a base that's only 3.35 inches but on the very bottom here there's a little suction cup and once it's on the table check this out I can hit it from any direction won't tip over, but if I just give it a few shakes and lift it straight up, it comes right out. All right, so let's go over how the night tour works here. On the very bottom of the lamp, you can see a little metal toggle switch right here. Now, since the toggle switch can only move up or down, it has multiple functions built in to each movement. So right now I have the lamp plugged in with the included USB type C cable here, and you can see the little LED on the bottom, it's showing green. That means the internal 4,000 milliamp hour battery is fully charged. But you're gonna see once I start messing with the light modes, that LED is gonna turn red. Obviously that means it's charging. So let's go over the UI here. At first, when I first pulled this out of the box, I thought it was a little bit confusing. After about five minutes, I got used to it and it's actually pretty easy. So that being said, let's start with the warm white function on the light stem here. To get to instant low, all we have to do is hold down that toggle switch right there and there's our warm white at its lowest level. And anytime you wanna turn off the stem, all you have to do is quick press that toggle switch down, turns it right off and that's true for any of the modes. So if you wanna to get to instant high here, all you have to do is hold up on that toggle switch and there's instant high for the warm white function. And as I mentioned before, that's 60 lumens and if I turn it down and hold it down, that low is eight lumens. And of course that low is where we get our 31 hours maximum runtime if the cable isn't plugged in. All right, so once the stem is on either low or high, let me just turn it on low. If I press and hold the toggle switch up or down, you can see that ramp that goes all the way up to high and slowly ramps all the way down to low. So it does have a stepless fade all the way up to high and low. So you can choose basically any brightness level you want to. So let's turn it off here. And if you guys were wondering, yes, it does have a memory function. So if I turn it on low and let's go to medium. If I turn it off and I just quickly press that toggle switch down, it goes right back to that last mode. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's turn it back on, turn it all the way back up, quickly press it off, tap down, goes right back to high. So I think that's a pretty nifty function here that it does have a memory and it remembers the exact brightness I left it on. All right, so now let's get to the two color modes here. So let's turn it off. And to get to the first color mode, all we have to do is just quickly tap up on that toggle switch. And there is one of the 256 color gradient rotation modes. And you can see it just slowly fades from one color to another. And yes, like I said, 256 different colors here. And now to get to color mode two, just quickly tap up on that toggle switch again and you can see all 256 colors right here almost in rainbow fashion and if you look very closely you can see that yes those colors are slowly changing they just move from the top and they just slowly move all the way down the stem and now let's get back to color mode one just quickly tap up on that toggle switch here and if you want to change the brightness level here it's just like with the warm white once it's on and once it's changing colors we have to hold up on that toggle switch for full brightness and then hold all the way down for its dimmest level. That's two lumens and then at its highest level on the RGB modes, that's 10 lumens. You get about 15 hours maximum runtime in RGB mode when it's not plugged in while it's running off the battery power. And that's also true for color mode two here. 
we can hold down that toggle switch for the lowest level of brightness all the way up to the highest level of brightness. And you guys might be wondering if you can freeze one of these colors once you get to a color that you like. And yes, you absolutely can. When you wanna freeze a color, you just have to wait for it to cycle through and then tap up quickly on that toggle switch and it freezes the color that it was last on. So there's a red color, double tap again to continue the cycle. And I like this blue color right here. And you can also freeze the colors in color mode too here. If you get to a pattern that you like, same thing, double quick press up, just like that. And you can see it stops the rotation and freezes right where it is. So this cool white and colored stem right here is one of my favorite features of this night tour. I absolutely love this stem and being able to choose whatever brightness level I want, being able to hit instant low or instant high straight from this toggle switch here. Also having a memory function is great just by tapping down on that toggle switch once and this instantly going to one of these color modes and freezing whatever color I want and then adjusting the brightness level from there. In fact, after experiencing this light for the last couple days, it might be one of my favorite Olight products that's actually not a flashlight. And that's saying something because they've released some pretty cool stuff. There's the O-Pen, there's the O-Knives, there's a lot of non-flashlight items that Olight's released, but I think this one might be my favorite so far. And I haven't even talked about the lamp head here yet, so let me show you guys how to work this lamp head right here. So first let me show you that yes, this lamp head can tilt 90 degrees so it can look straight down and then look straight forward as you can see right here. And yes, I do appreciate that this can tilt 90 degrees, but I kind of wish that it can also swivel as well. So on the back of the lamp head here, there's a little button with an LED right dead center. So this is where you can turn the light on or off or change the brightness levels. So to turn on the lamp head here, just quick press it once and there we go. The lamp head is activated and to turn it off, one quick press off. So if I turn it back on and hold down the button, there you can see our stepless ramp up and ramp down all the way from low to high. I know it's kind of hard to see on camera here, so that's the highest level. And if I hold it down and there, right there, that's our lowest level. And you can also turn it on instantly to low. If you have it off and press and hold that back button, you can see it just turn it on instant low I like that feature. And what I think makes this lamp head so versatile is yes, it's detachable. There is a magnetic base on the back of the lamp head and on the night tour itself. And you can see if it's on, it remains on so I can just do what I have to do, see what I gotta see and just snap it back on the night tour. So yes, this one feature right here makes this an extremely versatile table lamp. Now this lamp head here has a maximum lumen output of 90 lumens and the beam is very focused. It doesn't have any hot spot at all. It's just one big hot spot, I should say. So you can see by the beam on my table here that there is no spill at all. It's just one big hot spot and very focused, very even. Another really cool feature is it has a built-in acceleration sensor. So if you double shake it here, you can see it turns right on and then double shake it again Come on, don't make a liar out of me. There we go, turns it right off. Now that necessarily isn't my favorite function. It's a little bit fumbly, unless I'm doing it wrong. Sometimes it works and there we go. Sometimes it doesn't, there, it just worked for me. But you guys get the idea. You can turn this lamp head on without having to reattach it to the lamp and then using this back button to control it. Now it should be noted that even though the light from the stem will still work if it's unplugged from the USB, the lamp head will not. That's right, the lamp head here will only work if it's plugged into a USB power source. And another really cool function about the night tour here is it is compatible with the Olight Baton 3 and the Old Bulb MC and MCS. So what exactly does that mean? Well, while the night tour is plugged in and charging, you can actually charge your Olight Baton 3 here and check this out. It works. So not only are you charging your Baton 3, but you can still use it as a light and check this out. You can still ramp up the light from low all the way to high. You can still use it as a lamp head. Now this is an awesome feature. Now I should show you this on the Baton 3 once I remove it. The light does stay on and I'm gonna show you why that matters because, well, let's get to the MC old bulb right here. Let me turn this off. And once I put the old bulb MC right there, 
turn it on and check this out. This is one of my favorite things about this light. So you can see it ramps from all the way to low, all the way to high, and I really like the old bulbs here instead of the lamp head here. If I had to choose, I would probably choose the old bulb over the lamp head. But that's also a matter of personal preference. If you like the light that comes out of here for reading, a more hard light, not diffused at all, you might want to stick with the lamp head here. But for me, I like the old bulb. But having the old bulb MC here isn't perfect because watch this. You saw with the Baton 3, it stayed on. Once I remove it, it turns off. I'm not sure why that is. I think it would have been awesome if the old bulb would have stayed on once removed from the lamp. I can take it, walk around with it, look around, click it back on. Everything just works in sync, but unfortunately it just turns off. Another weird feature here is if I turn it on to one of the colors, let's just say blue, once I attach it to the lamp here, it goes right back to warm white. Turn it off. Now let's turn it on. I don't know, let's say this green color here, same deal, right back to warm white. So once again, I wish it would stay on its color modes when attached to the lamp here. That would make this extremely versatile and it would have blown me away if it did it, but unfortunately it just doesn't work that way for some reason. But honestly, that's just nitpicking. I still like the fact that it will indeed work with the old bulb MC here and you can get yourself a nice diffused light, tilt it 90 degrees. I wish it swiveled, but what are you gonna do? You can put both of them on at the same time. As you can see, let's turn them all the way up. This thing puts out a lot of light. And Olight did say they are still working on more compatible products to work with the Night Tour here. But I think as of right now, it's just the Baton 3, the MC, and the MCS. I wish I had an MCS here to test out. I don't. I'm kind of curious if the MCS, once it's attached to the lamp here, if the sensor, the motion sensor functionality will come into play. Meaning if you walk by the MCS, will it turn on kind of like a security light? I think that would be awesome. I wish I can test that for you, but I can't. If anybody else out there has one of these with the MCS bulb, please test that for me and let me know, please. So if you're watching this video as it's released, that means Olight's January sales going on right now. That means you can pick up a night tour here for about 20% off. I believe it's $79.96 right now on sale. Full retail is about 100 bucks. So if you want to pick one of these up, right now is the time to do it. And of course, I'll have all the sale links below in my description box. And yes, they are affiliate links. So if you've ever wanted to support the channel, this is how you do it. And I also have a discount code below as well. But that 10% discount code works on everything but sale items, unfortunately. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Olamp Night Tour from Olight? Now, if you want to check this out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. And make sure you check out Olight's January sale and all that information will be down below as well. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!